Pojďme vidět. Pojďme No. No. Why hello there funny little people in my computer. Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 by... Blood Alone. Yeah, I still despise this background. Like, bro, look at this. Come on, dude, it's two airplanes. It's semi-kills in the background. Like, I don't even know where this location is. It can be anywhere in the world. Like, is it Ethiopia? Is it Italy? Is, is this in Switzerland? Where was this at? I don't know. What? What? They're not even shooting anything. They're just flying at each other. They could still be on the same team for all I know. The thing is, is that on the loading screen, I saw a background, uh, one of the images on the loading screen, and it was some Ethiopian dudes charging some Italian dudes on horseback. And it looked way better than this. You could have used that. I hate looking at this, bro. I freaking, I want to stop looking at it. I want to stop looking at it. I want to stop. Oh, there we go. That's better. Anyways, judging by the title, uh, we play these funny, funny, neutral, guys. funny, neutral, funny, funny, neutral, neutral, funny, haha, <laughs> funny Swiss, Swiss cheese, swan do, axis, gold, funny, funny game, funny, funny, neutral. And yes, you read that right. It's going to be an actual somewhat of a guide in which I will show you how to get every single achievement in Switzerland. Well, that is until they nerf the the lend lease mechanic, then then the, this guide's gonna be a bit more difficult. But for now, I'm doing this Iron Man mode on, historical AI on. Yes, I know the two things I never put on, and begin. As you see, I've uh, had some reattempts, but oh well. <coughs> All right, here we go. The funny, the funny neutral Swiss Swiss mountain funny Swiss cheese funny access gold funny people. All right. First off, let's go ahead and say our research. Go ahead and pick up our basic machine tools, construction, luxury mechanical engineering, you know, basic stuff. For civilian factories, we're gonna build more civilian factories. For military factories, just build guns. Let's see, for national focus, just go ahead and start with the only one you can, obviously. For trade, I guess you can buy things from France or not, it doesn't matter. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and park the army right here. Just put it in one army. Um, this army is going to be led by Mr. Jacob Huber because he's got the, the defense. He's got the defense right here. And then you, Mr. Henry Gusian, is are going to be our field marshal. Oh yeah, look at that PP game. We're getting all the PP now. We have the big PP game, man. We got big PP right here. I think we have the biggest PP out of anyone else. Swiss pee pee pee. <laughs> uh, funny. Alright, for our button. Uh, do not click the first one and do not click the last one. These will both ruin the game. I mean, I guess you could chain pick either of these, but for my particular strategy, we're going to be going left, the far left side, right over here. Uh, which means we need to do this. And I know you're tempted saying, hey, if we're being ahistorical, why don't we press that? Don't do it. Don't do it. Hold on to that PP of yours. Right, we're going to use these for other things, like switching the free trade. So we can get uh, more more construction speed. Uh-oh. No, Sultan of Elsa with the funny base. Giga Chat. Oh, he's gone. Anyways, next national focus. You can choose between the two. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, we don't really need the military factories now, so I'm gonna go with civvies. Ooh, president of the Swiss Confederation. Well, we just want to get the, rid of the most useless people here. Now, this boy, he's pretty useless. This dude, he get, they give us political power gain, but do we really need that? Not really, especially because this guy's got civilian factory construction speed. These two are the same, they just give you some, like political power gain so we're gonna get rid of these two useless people which will be he's going to do johannes bauman i mean it doesn't really matter oh i'm gonna add a political advisor obviously we're going for the best political advisor out of all of switzerland that is mr adolf fuhrer yep his name is adolf and he is a fuhrer hmm but he's the best because look Research speed 20%. Like, why wouldn't you pick this dude? This is this is this is not even fair, bro. We got 30% research speed just from that dude. This is not even fair. We switched to the free trade. 
We already have 30% research. Uh, uh, Tech Rush Switzerland win? No. There is a pretty cool dude here. That's Sig Sauer. Well, not Sig Sauer yet, but that is Sig. And Sig is a pretty base company. If you're an American, you would know that. Um, but we're not going to hire them at the moment because we want to save our political power for a very specific reason. Oh yeah, the Nazi party dude was assassinated. Yeah, I'm going to execute him. It's going to make France a little unhappy with us and Germany. Germany's going to be a little bit happy with us actually, but yeah, just execute him without trial. Just boom, you're dead. And France is going to be a little unhappy with us, which is fine. Come on, it's France. What do you expect? You know, there, there's a reason why we have our army on the French border. I wouldn't tell you that. Oh boy, we got finished. Go ahead and move on to mechanical computing. And reaffirm spiritual defense. Alright, now, who are we going to fortify our borders with? We can do Italy. Germany or France. Eventually, we're probably going to do all three, but for now, let's make the Frenchies unhappy with us by fortifying our, our borders with them. And now, hey, look, we got even more PP gain, but y'all best hang on to your PPs because we need that. See, after you get your construction researched, it doesn't really matter. The three things we're going to be looking at next is fuel refining for a special thing you probably know already. Um, radio and support weapons. So let's go fuel refining first. Radio and support weapons is just to give us that little extra boost in combat. Bonk. Uh oh, looks like France is even more unhappier with us. Oh, hey, look, there's a little button down here. Boink. Uh oh, it is done now. France is even more unhappy with us. They're gonna be really unhappy after we get this. It's just 25, 35. Yep. Now is the time to start improving our relations with Mr. Schmidtler. Make him a little happy with us. Because we're gonna need him to be happy with us after we finish this focus here. Uh oh. Negative 85%. Wait a minute. They consider us in breach of neutrality. Hmm. I wonder what's going to happen. So, go ahead and forward borders to Italy. I just wasted a few days, but it should be fine. Anyways, uh-oh, France is hostile towards us. Hey Germany, can you guarantee us being as we have 100 relations? Oh, hey look, they're guaranteeing us. Hmm, yes, it seems that all of the uh, relation requirements for the Swiss focus tree is 100% as long as they have 100 relations with you. Which is not that hard, because you have the buttons. Anyways, and make sure the Germans stay pretty happy with you so they don't just ignore you. Uh oh, France is a war goal against us. Oh, Mr. Mr. Leon Blum, please. We're just a poor neutral country. Please don't declare war on us. Oh wait, who can we elect a person? Uh, let's go to the next useless person. Yusip Mota. Uh, go ahead and wait a little bit to hire this boy. Because our next boy is going to be one of the militaristic nationalists. Just so we can get that democracy support dropping. But... Oh! France, you just ended the League of Nations! What the frick? Ah, uh, bro, I forgot. I have to do arm neutrality to get total mobilization. Maybe I picked the wrong one. Hmm. Anyways, uh, go ahead and take all your trade. Click oil. Click Soviets. Buy. Yep. So go ahead and spend all your um, all your things. Go ahead and start lend lease with them. See how much we making? 1.8k a day. So. Do 1.8k a day. Send. There we go. Now, we can do this. See, they have 71%, and now they have 0%, and then we have 100 because they're in the negatives and war score. Hmm. 
That is unfortunate for you, I would say. I'm going to take this time to do some more propaganda. And then we can immediately go to War Economy. Yeah. So, one thing is, is if you go to this one, you can start the war earlier. But if you do this, you can start the war and go total mobiliza mobilization. That mobilization. Also, yeah, this 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 game this this bat this fight is unbelievably easy. Like they're going they're going to take like this province here, and that is it. Like they they cannot push you, especially because Germany's you know breaking through here. Yeah. I'm gonna wait until this goes in the middle, and then I'm gonna do this. Gold Tartan. Yeah, look at them, they can't even do it. Oh, wait, by the way, if you want the, um... Go ahead and, whenever they encircle this, because they always encircle this one province right here. Go ahead and attack into it. Right, and then after they take that... Okay, make sure you ask for military access from then, so that you're not completely reshifting your your line, your battle line. But anyways, uh, if you attack into that one province, you will get. Let's see, let's see, let's see, overview awards down here. The way is shut. No, going through an hour round. Successfully attack and control an area with the level 10 fortnit. There you go. Just a little bonus for you to get. Yeah, you just sit there and let Germany take care of everything. It'll be easy. Oh, hey, we didn't even promote our field marshal. Here you go, Mr. Field Marshal. Oh, there goes France. And Germany gets zero, and we get 5,000. Click France. Select all states. Submit demands. Confirm and exit. Easy. Easy. Oh, hey, look, we got dockyards now. It's Swiss Navy time. Let's go. And now we're all of a sudden losing manpower because we don't have enough manpower equipment to fill our, fill our garrisons, which we're gonna go <laughs> not local autonomy. We're gonna be going for local police force because these boys are going to be rebelling for a while. All right, next step is to uh, stop trading with the Soviet Union and start building mills. Because you're gonna need them. Mills and sieves. Sieves and mills. Yep, and then, as at this point, you're gonna be improving your relations with Austria. Because we have claimed their territory. We need them to be positive relations with us. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty fast war with France. Because sometimes I'd own Austria by now. But oh well. Alright. Now we can do press for Vorarlberg, and as long as Austria is happy with us, they will most definitely accept. So you should be happy with us. If they don't accept, I'm gonna have to restart. Uh, oh, hey, look. We own Vorarlberg, which gives us a core. Yep. And while we're just sitting here, well. Yeah, I'll go and ban the Swiss Communist Party. Why not? Why not ban them? Yep, soon I will be able to preempt Anschluss and put improve relations with them a little. Oh, Turkey presses the Hittite issue. No, no, I'm, 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 I'll go ahead and oppress the Turks. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you have a core state on that, but no. <laughs> Uh, man, we live in a world where Turkey just demanded Hitay from friggin' Switzerland. <laughs> if I guarantee their independence, yeah, let's go do that. Boom, now they really like me. There's no way they could say no now. Oh, frick, I forgot to mention, bro, I'm an idiot. I forgot to mention, after this war, you should see yourself getting, after your war with France, you should see yourself getting three whole achievements. Achievement number one. Let's put this off to the side here so you can see. And you get a town, Canton. Everyone gets the Canton. Half Switzerland, have 24 states. That's kind of obvious, you know. France has 24 states across the world. Um, next one. You shall not pass. Has Switzerland won a defensive war without ever losing Western Swiss House, Eastern Swiss House, or 
Tikio or whatever it's called. It was basically these three states here, which of course he didn't lose control of because, you know, it's not that difficult to not lose control of these. And then finally, as we scroll all the way up here, Swiss cheese. As Switzerland annexed five states, they're not continue contiguous with each other or Switzerland. <laughs> which, you know, colonies, it, it, these aren't really contiguous with each other. You know, just the freaking islands everywhere allows that. Yep, so I guess you like three of them. And the last one is declare war on Germany and win, which uh, I have a feeling will take us down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Boop. And we just get the entirety of Austria for free. Well, while we're sitting here, we need to do these three, but we need the Federal Assembly to like us a lot. Uh, yeah, so. We go ahead and protect Liechtenstein. You know, Liechtenstein does exist. It exists like. Like right here on this bridge here. Like, it exists like right here, but that's it. Oh yeah, keep producing these. I changed that to the, uh, Frick, bro. Ah, I need to do Switzerland on the offensive focus. I probably should have done that. Can I still do it? I can. Cancel this. We're, we're gonna do that. I love we have cores on all of Austria. And I know you're tempted to click this, but do not click it. Because I, I found out if you click this and declare the Swiss... Confederation early, then it cuts you off from the Alpine Protect. Okay. Now, after we did that, I can actually assign this to our Schnell Division. And our Schnell Division, how many... And just to save on PP for my garrison template, I'm just going to do that. Now Calvary is free, so next up, I know you're tempted to do these already, but we're going to take a quick pit stop over here to ban the Swiss Communist Party and then leave the League of Nations. And we want to do that because we want Italy to be friends with us. And our next focus is going to withdraw from the League of Nations. It's going to pick piss off 42 countries. <laughs> but at least Italy will be happy with us, which is all that matters. We're just going to be building up. So, Brick, don't... Make sure you're not doing this. Make sure you're not making this mistake. Invest in some actual stuff, okay? Do not make this mistake. Don't be repairing things for eternity. Actually build stuff. Actually build an industry, okay? Now's a good time to start improving relations with Italy. Because after we draw the nations, we're immediately going over here. Now, for this one, you want Italy to have 100 relations with you. Which is not that difficult to get. But, and I'm pretty sure they should accept. Then we can get that, and then we can do these focuses, and then we can do the Alpine Protectorate. They should accept. They've accepted before, but then again, I've only done this once before. Austrian Navy veteran offers his services. Yay, we can get a Navy dude. He has commerce rating genius. Ultimate naval Switzerland. I'm gonna build a Navy. I'm gonna build the best Swiss, Swiss Navy. It's gonna be all submarines. Hey, look at there. <laughs> we just took half of Italy. You know, hey, look, they have a whole bunch of military factories, just like I knew they would. We just, we literally just got freaking almost, yeah, we just got almost 20 military factories just now. Freaking based. Now, we do not have cores on these, uh, but that will change in 70, 35, and then another 70, bro. And 12 others. It's going to demand the French Alps, even though we already own the French Alps. Bruh. Yeah. So, I guess the way the game this, um, after they patch out the oil exploit, you won't be able to just annex all of France. The game this is just to get them all to really like you, and then just demand them. And you'll have, like, all of the Alps. 
help, should help, and then once you declare war on Germany, try and take as many states as possible that aren't connected. Yeah, you know, whatever you do, do not click this. Don't do it. It will lock you out of this focus and you can't continue further. And you have to do this to continue further. I mean, you don't have to, but it's recommended. Also, this is going to significantly weaken the Germans, I just realized. It's going to take them forever now. Oh yeah, the funny thing is, I forgot to mention. Yeah, you think, you think that we would generate a whole bunch of um, world tension just because we annexed all of France. But no, it all went to Germany because they capitulated to Germany. Which is kind of based. Oh wait, make sure to check your construction every once in a while so you're not wasting things on repairing. Make sure to do that. Am I not below 50% yet? It's minus 0.01 a day. Bruh. I guess I could have done that and done it earlier, but now I don't really want to. Bro, Italy looks so freaking cursed. He looked so cucked now. Uh, bro, I cannot believe it. Frick it, I'm gonna hire him. <laughs> Swiss Navy is coming through, baby. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna elect Adolf here. Which? What? 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 You have to use him to. That's how you get. Bro. That's how you get ex an extra research slot? That's how you're supposed to get an extra- I do not believe it. Where's Christian Gassar? He doesn't do anything. I'm gonna elect Adolf here. Just so I can get this decision. But, there's something else you should know. I have to hire another dude. But, I'm gonna expand the arms industry. What? That's how you get an extra research slot. I cannot believe it. We have to do that just to get an extra reside, you know, for real. Now, the reason why I elected Adolf Fuhrer is, one, I get this decision, which I guess is how you get extra research slots to Switzerland, which I did not expect. But also, because if you go here, Adolf Fuhrer becomes the leader. Hmm. And he gets to keep his bonuses. Hmm, that's not overpowered at all. I don't know what you're talking about. 100, here we go. Expand the arms industry. Boink. Mill construction speed, big bonus. Build those mills. Oh, there goes Czechoslovakia. Ooh, that's kind of... Oh, we're based and we're gray? We're based and we're great. Yo, let's go. This is way better than like the Alpine Confederation or whatever. We have freaking mountains. We're based. And we have Eldolf Fuhrer as the leader. Who has weapons designer. Production efficiency cap. Plus 10%. Research speed. Plus 20%. And daily support. And all that stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, we're so based now. Oh my gosh, and then we get out of the Bro, check out our research speed, plus 72%, bro. Look at this. This is insane. I'm almost doubling my research speed just from this. Also, we have cores now, and we're, like, very based. Oh, hey, look. And we're, we're not lacking guns anymore. Wow, that's nice. Oh, we can replace them at will now. Let's go. I can do anyone now. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's no way. There's no 
There's no way. There. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that, okay. I'm gonna see if I can actually do that. You wouldn't let me, would you? You would. Uh, paradox, paradox, paradox. Why are you letting me do this paradox? Really? 62% base bonus research speed. That's just a little. Eh, no, that's just a little silly. That's just a little silly, isn't that paradox? Especially because I'm gonna get this, this, 4%, and this, another 8%. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be big. <laughs> paradox. Look at this. No. No paradox. Bro, I cannot increase my stability. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Stability. No, I can't increase it. Unless I get strikes. And I don't want to get strikes. Supply range. 20%. That seems a little overpowered, don't you think? Oh. Poland joined allies right before you declared war in them. Okay. Lithuania. You guaranteed Poland. Are you not going to help them? Okay. Soviet Union. <laughs> Stop justifying war lines, Poland. I don't like that. Good research. Basic engines. <laughs> I'll pass. Oh, I'll opt for the... No. Paradox. No. I shouldn't be having 70% research speed paradox. Stop it. <laughs> paradox, no. Well, they're the same. One cost... 150, and the other cost 50, so I'm gonna choose the 50. Methinks. Um, yeah, sure, Swiss Navy, let's go. Plus another 15% onto that, oh my gosh. Actually, I'm going to. Yeah, basically. Um, you're probably more than powerful enough to take on the Axis. Uh, basically, prepare, prepare yourself. Go down here, bring democracy back to Germany, and declare war. It's a German Reich, and you get claims in all of Germany, which is nice. You can do both that and liberate Italy. Right, and then you get claim on all of Italy states as well. So, Oh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> I've no spot that I have that permanently. Hmm. So, as you can see, it's been a couple of years. I am building some land forts. I'm probably building too many land forts to necessary, but I don't care. You know? Um, things are going well. I have a full army group, and I'm about to get myself an air force up and running. I have foreign claims on all of Italy. Oh boy. These Soviets here not looking too good, I might say. When did the Americans enter the war? Isn't there like a whole nother year left? No, they're... Oh, no, they're in the war. Okay. They're actively in the war. That's good to know. Bring democracy back to Germany as, you know, a completely democratic country, I might ask myself. I think I'm ready. Um, let's see. This is my template. I'm maining this. Um, about uh, a fourth of my army is this. The other fourth is this. These are the same thing, except this one has heavy flame tanks. So, not all of them have heavy flame tanks, but enough of them to hopefully just stay them. All right. See, now they're going to be relentlessly assaulting me. And how are they winning? Lack of fuel. Okay. Alright. Who can I buy fuel from? Alright. Venezuela, I need all of your fuel. Alright. Luckily, I'm pushing them there. And I'm providing about 4%. Fight a battle with a certain number of positive modifiers affecting the battle. Nice. Yep, I'm starting to do the exploit again. This time it's an eighth of Soviets. And oh! 
Ooh, that's not uh, fortunate um, at all. Like, that is, like, bad. Like, really bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie to you. That is kind of bad. Um, what is my surrender? Oh, hey, look. I could do that, but I won't. I could do that, but I won't. I could do that. Then I am. Eh, that's kind of embarrassing. Getting encircled there. That's real embarrassing, I think. Alright, so here's the current state of the war. I lost Austria pretty fast, but then again, I probably should have expected that coming. Oh, hey, look. These boys are invading, which is good. Well, I have Rome, so that sucks for you, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, frick, I made a breakthrough. I mean, Mexico made a breakthrough. Nice job, Mexico. Go to Berlin! Ah, uh, no, they just barely stopped me from reaching Berlin. Okay, now now's your time to start retreating. Oh, China's still doing pretty good against Japan. Oh yeah, I forgot. I own this. I forgot. Hmm. Fascinating. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Uh, that's not very good. As long as they hold on to Moscow, I guess. So why did you go ahead and start invading them? What the frick? Why are there Africans in Europe? Get out of here, Africans. You don't belong. Yep. <laughs> Okay, bye, Mussolini. Gosh dang, bro. I freaking hate late game Holy 4. Look at this. It's legit just World War One combat. Dude! We have more than double! More than double their count! We basically have triple. Dude, we have triple your number of ships. How? You have naval supremacy, bro. Let's go. We can finally send it off. Because someone decided to finally put their ships out. Bro, they're so close to capitulation. We just need, like, literally one more city. Verania. Or Parma, or Bologna. Bologna, he's n No! No! Why does the Yalta Conference still exist? No, you gotta be freaking kidding me. No! Luckily, I have claims on every single one of their states. I still think it's based that Adolf Fuhrer gets freaking 40% research speed just straight up. Look at this ridiculous amount of research, bro. Look at it. And that is sneaky of Paradox to hide the fact that you can't get extra research unless you do that one decision. We're marching on Berlin. Well, Mr. Hitler, I'd like to thank you for getting me to where I am today, as well as you, Mr. Mussolini. Thank you for giving me this land. And Hitler, thank you for gifting me the entirety of France. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. It is a shame that we had to come to blows, being as you didn't have democracy, and of course, you know, obviously I'm someone who would return democracy to Germany, right? Like, I wouldn't just outright annex them or anything. You know, I'm under a straight-up under military dictatorship. But hey, military dictatorships are based, so... Go! Take Berlin! Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. You, good sir, get the, um... 
Order of Military Virtue for taking Berlin. Congratulations. Commander and excluding division commanders increase their skill four times. Nice. Boink. Overrun an enemy division. Nice. I'm in Poland now. And time. Here we go. You guys know how, like, Switzerland is basically a combination of French people, German people, and Italian people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's basically what it is, you know. That's made in a bunch of Africans and some, some Vietnamese. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Freaking. Gosh dang. Soviet Union has to be like the most annoying person ever and just to swipe that from me. Bro, they suck so bad. No, no, what are you doing, allies? No. Poland. No. <laughs> no, Poland. Yugoslavia, no. Why did you take but not? I understand you took in these, but why I specifically left those for you. And you took that in Soviet Albania. Also, I have a big freaking navy now. I have a whole freaking 203 ships. So luckily I cheated enough to where I could just annex all this. I definitely could have puppeted like everything if I just puppeted, but no. No, I wanted to annex. But yeah. There it is, boys. Every single Swiss achievement done. You get a Canton and Switzerland have 24 states. You shall not pass. It's Switzerland in the defensive war without ever losing Western Swiss house. Asian Swiss house or T. Ticino, Tikino, whatever the frick. I don't care how it's pronounced. Scroll up some more. Swiss cheese, a Switzerland annex five states are not contig contiguous with each other or Switzerland. And finally, I'm not locked in here with you. As Switzerland declared war in Germany, and win. We did it. Declared war in Germany, and we won. Easy game, Kurdistan exists. Oh my god. <gasps> yes! He's back! Yes! He's back, boys! He's back! He is back! I cannot believe it. He is back! Here you go, buddy. You can have this. He's back, boys! Mohammed, yeah, yo! Let's go! This is the true perfect timeline. Eight off your. The true Fear, because it's his last name, is Fear. Him and his freaking 40% extra research speed. But yeah, overall, what do I think of the Swiss focus tree? Mm. I guess it's alright. There, of course, are some bugs that need to be fixed. Um, like specifically, this bug you might run into. Where if you form the Alpine Confederation earlier, you you're just locked out of this. You're just locked out of this focus for no reason. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I'm probably gonna eventually check out the other paths. Maybe do a neutral, funny defense capitalist path. Um, fascist path looks kind of interesting. This is by far the best path here. Preempt Angelus, just boom. But yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Might check out Ethiopia next. You know, I'll, I'll save Italy for a later date, because, because, uh, because funny, funny Italy focus tree. Well, yeah, they're, they'll check out Ethiopia's focus tree pretty soon. Their focus tree looks pretty interesting, actually. I think the next one I might be doing the uh, Stalinist path. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed my gaming and an actual achievement run this time. 
Yeah, I just got you four of Swiss's, Switzerland's achievements. So, you want to be a part of the one in a thousand players that have these achievements? Go right ahead.